Hi everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins looking at uh, the solar eclipse that's coming our way in, uh, well, today's the third, so fourth is six, seventh, eight, five days. We're five days away from it uh, for the 2024 solar eclipse. Now, the, I have the path of totality kind of highlighted here. It goes from southwest uh, Texas through the very southeastern corner of Oklahoma. Uh, right through the middle of Arkansas, southeast Missouri, into southern Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then on its way up towards Maine. Uh, that's the total eclipse. That's where the moon will be in front of the sun in its totality. Now, the further away you get from this line, you got 80% here from Wisconsin, Iowa, southeast Nebraska, Kansas, and then towards uh, El Paso. And then same thing on the other side here from uh, the Gulf Coast near Louisiana all the way up through Atlanta up towards Washington, D.C. So that area is 80% uh, and then the closer you get to that total eclipse line, it gets higher. So like 90% would be right there, 100%, 90%, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, and on and on and on. So like 60% totality in Denver, 40% totality in Billings, you get my drift here. So now the big question that's going to be uh, asked as we head through the next several days is, okay, that's that's all well and good, but are we going to be able to see? Are we going to be able to see it? What's the cloud cover look like? Well, this is leading up to it. I'm going to zoom all the way over here to Monday at 2 p.m. and this is when the totality will happen. This is when it uh, starts to move uh, into our area well, where we will see the. Uh, the total eclipse. And notice it looks like there's quite a bit of, uh, um, of cloud cover. Now there is uh, down here and especially where you see the precipitation. So you got your 80% line there, your 60% line there. You got kind of a, an area here from uh, Wichita, St. Louis, Cincinnati that is clear then I think as you fruit like if you get into Nebraska even parts of Colorado Oklahoma uh, towards Tennessee and uh, Kentucky that's probably partly cloudy um, and it, this these this is a long-range model so it overdoes it uh, so I'm thinking that uh, it, it's these are the things are looking pretty good here uh, as far as uh, the solar eclipse storm cast is concerned for that 2 p.m. time frame on Monday uh, it could be worse I mean we could have rain everywhere and snow and all kinds of stuff so the fact that we've got kind of uh, more of the snow up here which is kind of a bummer for people like Chicago Minneapolis then towards the Dakotas and especially Wyoming but I mean that's you're getting kind of far away from the eclipse there but this area right here for now is showing plenty of sunshine so Again, cautiously optimistic. Tell you what, I'll do some more updates on this. We'll have another one tomorrow and the day after and the day after uh, leading up to the solar eclipse. And uh, we'll see what the models say tomorrow. See ya.